delegates, please welcome to the stage co-chair Pe Peggy Flanagan to resume chairing our convention. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good evening, and welcome to the first night of the Democratic National Convention. I'm Peggy Flanagan, Lieutenant Governor of Minnesota, and I am thrilled to be here in Chicago with Democrats from across the country to rally around Kamala Harris and Tim Walz and their vision for America. It's been eight years since we last came together as a party, and I can feel the excitement in this arena. It's filled with energy and with joy. Our theme tonight is for the people. We'll hear from union leaders, civil rights advocates, and our fellow citizens. And we'll hear from our president, Joe Biden, who has been champion for the people for his entire life. My name, my name in the Ojibwe language is Giji Wewadam Ukwe, or in English, speaks with a clear and loud voice woman. I'm a member of the White Earth Nation, and my family is the Wolf Clan. And the role of our clan is to ensure that we never leave anyone behind. That's why I am supporting Kamala Harris and Tim Walz to be the next president and vice president of the United States. For almost six years, I've worked side by side with Governor Walz. I've seen how hard he's worked to Minnesota, for Minnesota to be the best place for kids to grow up. He does it all with a big heart, a buffalo plaid jacket, and a bottomless bag of snacks. Nutter butters, cheese curds, and diet do. Every time we meet, he brings something for me. Because he's always got my back. And when he's vice president, he will always have yours. He and Kamala Harris have spent their lives fighting for you for your family, for your future. So whether you're a lifelong Democrat or just tuning in, thank you for being part of this evening. Four years ago, the COVID pandemic upended our lives. My brother Ron was the second person to die of COVID in the state of Tennessee. We couldn't see him, we couldn't have a memorial, and millions of American families went through the same thing. Our communities were suffering, our economy was struggling, and Donald Trump was playing games. Our country was brought to the brink by his failure to respond. But the Biden-Harris administration stepped in with quick and decisive action. They contained the virus, created millions of jobs, and invested in our nation's future. Under their leadership, America began to heal.